from your 24-hour news source. This is News for St. Louis Nightside. Fireworks light up the skies of St. Louis tonight. And on the fairgrounds, Motown legends light up the stage on this third night of the 1990 VP Fair. We'll bring you the sights and stories from the VP Fairgrounds later. But first, our top story. A Missouri judge is accused of trading sex for favorable rulings. The controversy is happening in Iron County. That's about 70 miles southwest of St. Louis. News 4's Jeff Rainford has more details. Judge Frank Mack has been an associate circuit judge for 14 years. Before that, he was a two-term prosecutor in Iron County. But rather than hearing cases in his courtroom, Judge Mack is himself the target of a criminal investigation. Law enforcement sources say they received a complaint against the judge in March. A woman, sources say, alleged she traded sex with Judge Mack in return for a promise of favorable treatment in a child custody case. Prosecutor Randall Head has since turned the allegations over to the Missouri Highway Patrol for investigation. I can only confirm that uh, my office received a complaint against the judge and after discussing it with the sheriff, he and I decided that because we work with Judge Mack every day, it would be uh, the most fair thing for all parties, the, the victim, uh, Judge Mack, uh, the sheriff and myself, if any investigation were conducted by an outside agency. During the investigation, Judge Mack has not been hearing cases. He hasn't sat on the bench in about a month. Other judges in the region have been filling in here in Iron County. Randall Head says he expects the Highway Patrol's final report any time now. In the meantime, Judge Mack is on the August primary ballot where he is unopposed. We tried unsuccessfully to reach him at home for his comment on the allegations and his political future. But speculation is growing among Democratic Party circles that he may eventually resign. Jeff for News 4, Ironton, Missouri. Tonight, a spokesman for Governor Ashcroft says the governor has not received any resignation letter from Judge Mack. VP Fairgores are headed home from the arch grounds right now following the fireworks display and all of tonight's activities. But even today's scorching temperatures could not keep many away. The heat was intense. It was too hot. You know why I had to come out here? I came out here because this is St. Louis. This is great. This is my hometown. I love it here. I brought some water with me. I just put it on me. With sundown, the temperature eased, but it is still oppressive for many. It still pays to exercise caution even in the night hours. The Red Cross reports treating 49 patients just today for heat-related illnesses. There are two things that always entertain the VP Fair crowd, the fireworks and the air show. News 4's Laurie Waters reminds us just how dangerous stunt flying is, especially near a large crowd. Laurie? That's right, Larry. The McDonnell Douglas Air Show is always one of the more popular attractions of the VP Fair. It showcases the vintage aircraft and the most modern of military technology. And the crowds here have always been able to enjoy the air show without concern because there's never been an accident. But a rash of accidents at other air shows around the country has those in this line of work concerned. Ago, World War II vintage planes crashed in Ottawa and near Buffalo, New York, killing both pilots. In the past six weeks alone, five pilots have been killed in air show accidents. Uh, it's been, I'm sorry to say, primarily operator air. And I wouldn't call it pilot air. That's a very broad uh, brush term. I I'm afraid I would have to call it lack of pilot experience in this environment. One-time world champion and seven-time national aerobatic champion Leo Ladenslager has been working for nearly a decade for improved regulation in this field. And that is a way of better training people in their first, particularly their first three years of the very low altitude requirement flying. This is something that's going to be need to be reviewed and strengthened, I think, considerably. Ladenslager wants pilots like himself, the Blue Angels, or the Holiday Inn team to help the FAA check out prospective aerobatic pilots. He says he first fell in love with flying at an air show. He wants today's youngsters to have the same chance without fear. You spark something that, that is sparked no other way. So that's, that's very rewarding. Yeah. And one thing Ladenslager wants to be very specific about, whatever his concerns about the current FAA regulations, he says spectators should not worry because you have to go back to the 1950s in this country for the last time that a spectator was injured at an air show. Larry and Julius? All right. Thank you, Mark. Well, pilot error is blamed for last year's U.S. air crash at New York's LaGuardia Airport. 
Federal investigators say the captain apparently failed to respond adequately to problems during takeoff, and there was mutually misunderstood communication between pilot and co-pilot. Two passengers died when flight 5050 slid off the runway and into the East River. A barroom brawl may result in a special prosecutor being appointed in the Chuck Berry drug investigation. News 4 was first to report federal agents are looking into allegations of cocaine dealing by the rock and roll legend. Police are now investigating a barroom fight this past Friday, reportedly between the husband of a woman who is suing Berry and Berry's lawyer. Witnesses claim attorney Wayne Schoenberg started arguing with the man. Schoenberg denies hitting anybody, and so far he has not been charged with anything. The St. Charles County Prosecutor prosecuting attorney is considering a special prosecutor because two judges were at the tavern where the alleged fight took place. Kremlin hardliners are launching a sharp attack on Soviet President Gorbachev's reforms. They blasted five years of perestroika today on the second day of the Communist Party's 28th Congress. The opponents claim reform is marred by radicals and economic problems. On this 4th of July holiday, Old Glory's popularity is on the rise, flag sales booming around the nation, and those who make the flags credit the controversy over the recent Supreme Court ruling on flag burning.